Hello dear children of class 4 and welcome to your online class of science. Today we will be continuing with chapter 1. Our chapter 1 as you know human body, the food we eat. Now dear children in the previous video I introduced the chapter to you by giving you a brief explanation of what food is, how it is important for our body and what does the food contain. Now if you remember dear children, I talked about nutrients in that part, right? I talked about the chemical substances required for growth, repair and survival of the human body. Those are nutrients. Now today we will be discussing about those nutrients in detail. If you also remember from the previous video, the nutrients that I named were carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and also on the side roughage and water and today we will be discussing all these in detail. Now dear children in order to make it easily understandable to you I have prepared a brief chart alright. This chart will tell you the name of the nutrient, the purpose, what purpose it serves in the human body and which food it is found in. Now before we move on with this chart I would like to read for you the introductory part from our science book, right? That will also help you recap what we learnt in the previous video. Please pay attention to it because this will help you in reading at home and pronouncing the words properly. Human body, food we eat. All living things need food to stay alive. Food gives us strength to work and play. It helps us to grow and remain healthy and strong. It is also needed for the repair of different parts of the body. It protects us against diseases. Plants and animals are the two main sources of food. We get vegetables, cereals, pulses, fruits and oil from plants. We get meat, fish, milk and eggs from animals. We should eat these foods in right amounts to, to stay healthy. Now what does the food contain? Nutrients are the substances present in our food that helps living organisms to grow and survive. Different nutrients have different functions. Some nutrients give us energy to do the work. Others are required for proper growth and repair of the body while some nutrients protect us from diseases. Let us now study in detail about food and the nutrients that are present in food. Components of food. Different food items are rich in different nutrients. There are five main nutrients found in our body. Carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins and minerals. Our body also needs a good amount of roughage and water. Now this was the introductory part dear children. Now before we start with others, right, we would like to go through this chart and try to understand what each one is. So let's start with carbohydrates. Children, there are two main types of carbohydrate, sugar and starch. Now carbohydrates are what we call energy giving nutrients and the food items that contain carbohydrates are known as energy giving food. Now as you have understood from the previous explanation itself, the purpose of carbohydrate is to provide energy to our body. Okay? And it is found in bananas, apples, potatoes and cereals. Okay? Cereals like rice, maize, all that. After that, when we go to the second one, there is, there are proteins. Proteins are what we call as bodybuilding food. All the bodybuilders, pro athletes, and people who are engaged in hard physical labor require a very good amount of protein. Why? Because it helps in growth and repair of the body and build muscles. And where it is found? It is found in milk and its product. Milk and milk products. Okay? Meat, fish, egg, pulses. Pulses meaning dals. And soya bean. Alright? These are the main food items in which you can find proteins. A protein as they build our body, they help in growth and repair. Proteins are referred to as bodybuilding nutrients. And the food items that contain proteins are known as bodybuilding 
foods coming to fats fats also come under energy giving food items energy giving nutrients only because their purpose is also the same provide energy and they are found in oil ghee and butter now children if you are confused as to what is the difference between fats and carbohydrates when both are providing energy it's very simple carbohydrates are required by our body in large amounts whereas fats are required by our body in small amounts remember the difference carbohydrates are required by our body in large amounts whereas fats are required by our body in small amount now if we take a uh, food items which contain lot of fat and in large quantities right and we don't do enough physical labor then our body starts storing the excess fat for future use right this excessive growth of fat in our body leads to a disease called obesity obesity our body grows excessively fat and we start suffering from cardiovascular and other related diseases so oil ghee and butter they also come under oil ghee and butter are the food items where you find fats now remember fats and carbohydrates both come under energy giving nutrients now coming to vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals are what we call protective nutrients food items that contain vitamins and minerals are called protective foods their purpose is to protect the body from diseases and to keep it fit and healthy all right and they are found in green leafy vegetables fruits milk fish eggs and other allied items all right both vitamins and minerals are found in this food items and their main work is to protect the body that's why vitamins and minerals are called protective nutrients and the food items which contain vitamins and minerals they are called protective foods now coming to the last one side one roughage and water all right roughage also we call it fiber roughage is what we call fiber all right roughage refers to the undigested part of the food children see whenever we take some food item we eat some food item certain part of that food item remains undigested even passing through after passing through stomach after passing through small intestine after getting to large intestine also some part of the food remains undigested that undigested part of the food is referred to as roughage or in local terms fiber it allows waste materials to pass out of our body easily remember roughage is what allows our bowel movements to be proper if roughage won't be there in the body then the bowel movement won't be there it means the waste material won't pass out of our body properly and we'll start suffering from intestinal and stomach related diseases now what are the food items that contain roughage whole grains fruits nuts seeds pulses and vegetables anything which won't be digested by the body and last one water well we all know water is the import water is an important component required by our body human life survival is impossible without water in fact water is so important in every class you have heard we must drink sufficient water every day at least 6 to 7 glasses of water in a day why it helps in digestion and it helps to maintain the fluid the liquid balance of the body all right now remember in order for the body to maintain its fluid balance it requires water in sufficient quantities all right not only that in order to function properly our body requires all these nutrients in proper quantities only less of these nutrients your body will be scars of it right your body won't be able to be working at its fullest potential and excess of these nutrients also lead to one or other disease in the body so the most important part to remember is our body needs needs these nutrients but in right quantity all right in right quantity 
Now let's see what your book says about it. Today we will read and complete this part 2. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide energy to our body. Hence food items rich in carbohydrate are called energy giving foods. We need carbohydrate in large quantities. Two main types of carbohydrates are sugar and starch. Fruits such as bananas and apples are good source of sugar. Potatoes and cereals such as rice, wheat, maize are good source of starch. Proteins. Proteins are the nutrients that help in the growth and repair of our body. They also help in building our muscles. Food that are rich sources of protein are called bodybuilding food. Young children should include more protein rich food in their diet because their bodies are still growing. Remember children, you are still in your growing phase. So as far as possible, try to include lot of protein in your diet. Now which, from which food you will get your proteins? We mentioned it here also and it's here also. Milk and meat, milk products such as cheese and paneer, pulses, soya bean, meat, fish and eggs are rich sources of proteins. Now coming to fats. Fats are the nutrients that provide more energy to our body than carbohydrates. They help our body, they help to keep our body warm. Food that are rich sources of fat are also called energy giving food. Oils and nuts are example of fat rich food. Ghee and butter, milk product are also fat rich food. Alright, now remember here we learn one more difference. Fats provide more energy than carbohydrates. All right, and it also keeps the body warm. But like I told you, our body requires very little fat and large amount of carbohydrates. So let's see. Our body requires only a little amount of fat. Excess fat consumed by us, taken by us, is stored in our body for future use. Too much intake of fat makes us obese. Obese means overweight. This is the, this is the disease which in medical term is, is called obesity. Laborers, hard physical workers, should include more of carbohydrate and fat rich food in their diet. It will provide them sufficient energy to do the work. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are the nutrients that protect our body from diseases and keep us fit and healthy. They boost our immune system, our body's disease fighting capabilities. These nutrients are required in small amounts. Fats that are rich sources, sorry, food that are rich sources of vitamins and minerals are also called protective foods. Now, vitamins are of different types, dear children. The main types are A, B, C, D, E and K are the types of vitamins found in our diet. Calcium, potassium, iodine and iron are some minerals. Now, different vitamins have different role to play within the body. Now, in combination, they do the same work. They protect our body from diseases and they keep us fit and healthy. But how? That depends on the type of vitamin taken. Like green vegetables, carrots, sweet potatoes, eggs and dairy products are rich in vitamin A, which improves eyesight and maintains healthy skin. Remember this one. Okay. Vitamin A improves our eyesight and it helps to maintain healthy skin. Also, Milk, fish and eggs are rich in vitamin D which is important for healthy bones and teeth. Also if you want more of vitamin D, you, the sunlight is also a very good source of vitamin D. It helps to make your bones and teeth healthy. Calcium and iron are example of minerals needed by our body. Calcium is mostly required by the bones all right, and iron is needed by the blood. Let's see. Calcium is needed for formation of bones and teeth. Milk, curd and cheese are rich sources of calcium. Whereas iron is needed for the formation of blood. Green leafy vegetables such as spinach, apples and carrots are rich sources of iron. You take more of this, your body gets healthier. Other important minerals required by our body are iodine, potassium and sodium. All right. Now children, as I was talking about this, okay, now these are the main types of what you call nutrients. Now we come to the next part, roughage and water. Please pay attention. Some parts of the food that we do not eat get digested, sorry, some parts of the food that we eat do not get digested completely 
the part of the food that cannot be digested by our body is called roughage it is important for us as it adds bulk to our food it increases the quantity of our food and allows waste materials to pass out of our body easily water is an essential part of our diet it is important for digestion and is an essential part of blood and other body fluids we must drink plenty of water every day we should also make sure that water we drink is clean otherwise we may fall in this is one point which was left out in the explanation remember only drinking sufficient quantity of water is not enough we have to ensure that the water and not only water any food item that we take is clean if it has germs in it we are sure to fall ill now children when i was explaining the nutrients to you i was stressing on a point that we require nutrients in right quantity neither to less nor in excess that brings us to our next topic balanced diet it brings us to our next topic balanced diet see morning you have your breakfast afternoon you have your lunch then you have certain snacks then before going to bed you have your dinner right but when you are having your food if it does not contains the food items with right required nutrients then no matter how much you eat you are not going to get any healthier so in order to get healthy in a proper way we require food items in which all the nutrients are present in right quantity and that is called balanced diet balanced diet refers to diet that contains all the required nutrients in the right quantity okay all the required nutrients in the quantity that is required by our body if you are able to create a diet plan which can fulfill this then you are having a balanced diet and you will stay healthy let's see what the book says about this a balanced diet is a diet that contains all the nutrients in right amounts right quantity along with roughage and water it is essential to eat a balanced diet for proper growth and development of our body like i told you if you want to grow healthier if you want to unlock your body's potential to its fullest you need to have balanced diet we should eat a balanced diet that includes required amount of food items like cereals okay now what are required to form a balanced diet which food items must be included to form a balanced diet first one is cereals okay rice wheat maize all right second pulses and sprouts now what are sprouts dear children there is an activity given here okay on the previous page that teaches us how to make sprouts now most of you in your home you are already making sprouts what we do we take moong dal or whole gram we keep it in a cloth right we make it wet we keep it in a cloth we put it somewhere and we make sure it does not gets dried some people what they do they make this uh, moong dal or whole gram they make it wet they put it in a ball they put they cover the ball with cloth and they keep sprinkling water on the cloth to keep it wet and moist after some time okay what happens a kind of white structure starts growing out of those gram or moong dal right that's called sprout sprout salad is one of the healthy form of uh, food item you can include in your diet we'll go through the activity also to learn about the sprout salad so like i was telling you 
सीरियल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड पल्सेस एंड स्प्राउट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स डियर चिल्ड्रन नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ यू यू आर वेरी मच अन इंथुसियास्टिक वेन इट कम्स टू ईटिंग ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल बट एक्चुअली इट्स द ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड बाई योर बॉडी ओके मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर प्रोटीन एंड कैल्शियम ऑयल एंड नट्स फॉर बिट ऑफ फैट लोकली अवेलेबल वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स इन प्लेंटी एग फिश एंड चिकन दो आर नॉन वेजिटेरियंस ऑफकोर्स वेजिटेरियंस कैन डिराइव ऑल नेसरी न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम सीरियल पल्सेस एंड मिल्क बेस्ड डाइट मीन्स इफ यू आर अ वेजिटेरियन यू मस्ट स्टिक टू ईटिंग सीरियल्स पल्सेस एंड ऑल्सो यू शुड इंक्लूड आइदर मिल्क और सम मिल्क प्रोडक्ट इन योर डाइट ऑल राइट देन यू विल हैव ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड न्यूट्रिय ओके नाउ बिफोर वी एंड दिस वेड लेट्स रीड अबाउट हाउ टू फॉर्म अ स्प्राउट सैलड आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू हाउ टू मेक स्प्राउट्स विल जस्ट रीड हाउ टू मेक स्प्राउट सैलड दैट्स द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एक्टिविटी चॉप टमेटोज onions and coriander leaves add them to the sprouts and mix lemon juice to it see it's so simple tomatoes onions and coriander leaves dhaniya patta and add them to the add them to your sprouts and mix lemon juice to it sprinkle salt and pepper and that's it your nutritious healthy sprout salad is ready all right one once in a day especially when you are taking your lunch you must include a salad sprout salad if not any kind of simple salad will also do but salad needs to be there it's very good for body called source of roughage okay children so we will be ending this part of the video all right now as per your homework kindly take a look here i'll be providing you the clip if you see here there are questions certain exercises giving there are give two examples of the following and fill in the blanks with appropriate words your homework is to finish this in your science notebook i'll be providing you the clips of the page all right your work is to note it down and fill complete it in your science notebook your copies will be checked after the school opens up okay now children i request you all it's a very high time stay home stay safe take all precautionary measures to protect yourself from the corona virus pandemic thank you stay safe